Welcome to Vlog Tuesday, and today I wanted to talk about this concept of not bowing down to any gods. Um, you know, I've seen it for quite a while, especially in the left hand path communities. Um, you know, it's kind of like, I will not bow down to any gods, or I will not kneel before any gods, or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> it's a bit limiting, I think. And I think the whole concept comes from a place of great misunderstanding. Um, now, obviously, this is going to depend on your views and your own personal beliefs, but I just want to discuss it from a broader perspective. So when we talk about gods and worship and bowing down and prayer and things like that, it, a lot of people feel it is, you know, prayer and worship is just confined to Christianity. And it's definitely not. Um, Worship really means to honor, to revere, to respect a particular uh, entity, whether that is a god or goddess or demon or angel or even a person. Um, so, you know, worship does not mean supplicating yourself to anything. Um, and a lot of worship and prayer, even in heathen um, history, was supplication. But, you know, a lot of people come from that Christian background and come from that trauma and that pain. And so it is understandable why people don't want to put themselves in a position where they would feel like they are supplicating themselves and using such words as worship and bow and um, you know prayer and things like that and a lot of the left hand pathers are you know forming this idea that they are or well, they are becoming a god and that's fine we are all divine to begin with we are all gods and goddesses we just need to realize it uh, we are connected to divinity and this is where the problem comes in with this idea of i will not bow down before any god, you have to first understand what god is. We're not talking about the Christian god, that's an egregore. And any god or goddess from any pantheon is a spiritual being which does often deserve respect and honor. Um, you can still become your own god or goddess. You are, as I said, divine. There's no harm in that. Um, but when you start separating yourself further and further away from what we can call divinity, then you're removing yourself from that oneness, that wholeness, and you're just going to carry on separating yourself further and further. So when we're talking about God or divinity, the divine, the ultimate all, the eternal all, the all and no thing, the everything and no thing, the omnil, as William Gray uh, put it. This is a power, a force, it's not an entity as I mean, a, or a entity that is embodied um, as we would view gods and goddesses. This is a divine power, a divine force, which is everything and no thing. And that divine force, in my opinion, deserves respect and deserves to have people bow to it. Um, as I said, it's, it's bowing, it's worship, worshipping divinity, which is about giving respect and honour. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that. So, you know, if you don't respect that, you don't respect yourself at the end of the day. Now, this everything and nothing is in everything and nothing. So this means we can look at our own body and I can look at your body or you can look at my body and my hands, my arms, my legs, my feet, my groin, my butt, my head, my chest, my back, everything, every part of my body has divinity in it. 
we can go further and look at the cells. Every cell in our body has divinity in it. Go into the atoms. In fact, the atoms are probably the best place to go, go into the quantum. If we go into the atoms, then we are looking at various particles and subatomic particles which make up an atom. And between those particles and subatomic particles, quarks, etc., etc., there's nothing. And God, divinity, omnil, the all-nothing, whatever you want to call it, that huge, big force, that power, which is everything, is in that whole atom in the particles and in the nothing, the space between those particles. So you can look, you can go into your garden, find a rock, it's divine. It contains that omnil, that all, that all and nothing. It is divinity. The plants, the chairs, your phone, your computer, everything is divine. And you are divine and I am divine, we are all divine because we have divinity in us. It's always present, it was never gone, it was never separate. Yet, we feel we have to separate ourselves from it. And we cannot separate ourselves from it. It's in us all the time. It lives in us, it's, it possesses us, it's, it's part of us, it is us. We are it. Um, so, as much as you try to separate yourself from it, you cannot, because it is always in you, it is always part of you. Um, if it wasn't, you wouldn't be alive. You wouldn't have atoms to make up a physical body. So that, to me, deserves respect, and it deserves honor, and it deserves to be bowed to. So maybe you don't bow before any god, but I see the divine in you, and I will bow to you. Pranam. Cheers, everybody.